If you're an athlete, you know the greatest motivator of all is the fear of letting your teammates down. After all, a team is only as good as its weakest link. So you owe it to those wearing the same jersey as you to be your best every time you step on the field. That's why there's no vape in team. When you vape, you can expose your lungs to toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs. If you're a step behind, the team's a step behind. Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. Inspired by the life of the savvy and ambitious Colombian businesswoman Griselda Blanco comes a new Netflix original limited series. Griselda tells the story of a devoted mother who, with her lethal blend of charm and relentless savagery, creates one of the most powerful cartels in history. Witness Sofia Vergara's captivating transformation into the godmother of the underworld. Griselda, now streaming only on Netflix. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the TMOS Boss Show. Then today's episode, I guess I feel that I still got some stuff on my chest about the video game Power World because the thing is, is this. The more and more I play this game, the more and more I like it, you know? And to me, it's honestly, it's one of the most easiest and funnest games that I've played in a long time. And it would just really be upsetting because this this is what's um, crossing my mind right now. And some people seem to be thinking the same way too. But here's the thing. <clears throat> it would be really upsetting if the company behind Pokemon somehow, some way managed to pull some strings to get Power World shut down. And I guarantee and I promise you, if Pokemon were to ever do some stuff like that, I would never play a Pokemon game again. I will never say anything supporting about Pokemon. I will have nothing to do with Pokemon. Matter of fact, I think I do got some Pokemon cards sitting around. Get rid of all of them. See, whether it's selling them or throwing them away, I will have absolutely nothing to do with Pokemon. Because the thing is this, you have to understand that there are, and at the end of the day, if other people want to feel that way, then that's, you know, on them. I'm that's just I'm just talking on how what I would how I would personally react to some news like that. If I were to wake up the next morning and they're like, oh, Power World was sent a shutdown um notice because of their resemblance to Pokemon. Yeah, I like no, I that's somewhere I'm like, I it's at the end of the day, it's your choice on whether or not you want to follow in my same footsteps, but I will highly encourage it because my thing is is this. Do you I and I'd set this um example before, but just to furthermore elaborate on that example example do you know how many racing games exist where you got the uh mario kart um type games you know you got like racing games like that like there's the one game like disney speedstorm or something um and i'm trying to think there are some other i feel that like um games that's kind of based like that but you got like that type of kart racing games and then you got the side profile um mario like og mario games and then you got like the um rpg uh like do you know like the 3d version of the uh, mario games you got so many games that resemble the mario games if people at the end of the day want to play the mario games guess what that is their choice that is their preference if they want to play the mario games uh other um you know racing games sport games you don't really see too many um well i mean you do got like two different type of soccer games but yeah at the end of the day if people want to play um uh they they call it like fc but um originally fifa or if they want to play the pes uh soccer game that is their choice if they want to play another different type of football game the thing is, is this there needs to be more than just one option when it comes to gaming. Because imagine, all right, think of it like this. Imagine if there was just one restaurant in the world. but it, And it's like they sell all different types of food, but it's just one restaurant that you always got to travel to to get to that food. Now, to put that into gaming terms, imagine if Pokemon is the only game to exist with its aspects, then the genre that it's in, it was the only game to exist. No other games. That means no other games on Xbox. That means no other games on PlayStation, PC. And at the end of the day, I don't know how many games they, they um, exist in that genre, but Pokemon is the only game. I guarantee and I promise you, it's either going to be to the point where that's too much for the company or it's going to get to the point where people just get bored of the game and then they just start playing other games that exist in the world. 
You know, and I think that's what, you know, any Pokemon fan that's out there hating on Power World, that's what a lot of you guys need to do. Because it, it really tripped me out to see Power World get hate. It's literally a video game. To see the, the uh, I don't know if I mentioned that in the uh, episode that I did. I, did I do it? I don't know if I just did the episode or if I did a podcast episode. I feel like I did an episode. Let me, I, I gotta look through my episodes real quick. But no, the developers were getting, um, oh yeah, so I did, I just can't remember if I, um, talked on the, uh, them getting threats and stuff, but if I didn't, I'm talking on it again, um, but no, yeah, they had got threats, um, I, I don't know if it was on social media, I don't know if it was, like, phone calls or whatever, but yes, people was threatening the developers behind Power World, like, how, my thing is this, how, like, much are your, like, on a scale, all right, on a scale from 1 to 10, how bad are your mental issues? Because you have some serious issues if you're threatening developers. If Just being that much of a fan of a video game, talking on people being a fan of the Pokemon video games, you should never be that much of a fan over a video game. Yeah, there are video games out there that I like and I respect, but I'm not going to be threatening other, if anything, I want to test out the competition. I want to see if it's going to be um equal or better or worse than the game that i'm originally playing so for an example forza let's say forza was like the first racing game to emerge on the scene right and then out of nowhere gran turismo comes up out of nowhere i'm not gonna be that person where i'm like oh well it's never gonna be i my thing is this in order for me to have an opinion on a game i gotta play it but if i just my thing is this if i just play a little bit of it i feel like that that opinion is not going to be valid you know i gotta put hours into a game so that's that's why, like, when you guys see me streaming, like, I might play a game and then I don't play it and end up playing it at some point in time. For an example, the one game that I did that to, um, well, two games, it looked like one and a half games, because, I mean, one is considered a game, but it's not really, it's more of a customizing game. But regardless, Automation and BeamNG, I remember playing both of those games a long time ago, didn't have nothing to say about them, and I was like, I don't know about those games, those games are difficult, but the more and more I got into it, the more and more I figured it out, and the more and more I I learned and knew everything that I need to know about car customization and beam and G. So I'm like, now I'm gonna put a bunch of hours into that game, and I do plan on playing that game again soon. It's just currently right now. Yes, I am playing Power World. I am playing Forza. I am playing uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. I just picked up the uh, 2005 version of that. So yeah, there's a lot of games that's on my radar right now. But um, at the end of the day, it's like that's and see and that's the thing though, where it's okay to have options. You know, talking to them Pokemon fans out there, it is okay to have options. You don't necessarily have to choose those options, but the thing is is this it is okay to have options if not have options respect the options because anybody out there that i saw the one guy he commented underneath um, my video on tiktok where i made i made a comedy skit making fun of uh people like hating on um pal world and stuff and the guy was like i'm not a pokemon fan i just hate the game it's people like that where it's like i've i've dealt with people like that you know with content creating where they claim that they're not a fan of somebody but they um still like you know spread hate as if they were a fan of that person i'm like you might as well be a fan if you just out here hating on a game for no reason you didn't start hating on this game i think they have been talking about this game for some time now like i remember i when i was scrolling through tiktok and just seeing a bunch of different um content surrounding power world i was seeing um videos i think from last year but it wasn't until the game released and then yeah that's when everybody has started hyping it up and stuff but i'm like they've been talking about this game all this time all you just want to do is be a part of the hype train of you know of surrounding this game that's sad that that's really sad it's sad that people sit down they take the time out they day just to hate on something and it's like there's no reason to hate on it. Game ain't did nothing to you personally game ain't did nothing to you generally so at the end of the day it's like why are you hating on the game and ain't did absolutely nothing to you Nothing at all. So that's why I'm like, yeah, it, it's just, it's people like that where I'm like, look, go get a life, right? You know, I it's it's one of those things where you need to realize that and you need to understand that. You need to go out and get a life because it don't make no sense to be out there hating on the game for no reason. Game ain't did nothing to you besides exist. I'm saying like that, it's stuff like that where I'm like, I get if you played the game and you had a bad experience, that's one thing. But if not that, you didn't even play the game, then yeah, bro, go go get a life. That that It's that type of stuff that just don't make any sense to me. So 
at the end of the day, talking on my own personal experience with this game from day one all the way up until the last time I played it. It is literally fun every time. I finally completed that Rain Syndicate Tower boss. There was all these other bosses that I then took out, all these different areas I then explored and things. I'm constantly leveling up. I think every time when I play the game, I do level up. So yeah, it's one of those things where I'm like, I have, I have yet to have a bad experience with that game. The only bad experience I had to say that I had with that game is uh when the game when i very first played it and it crashed on me oh and then they got it where the enemies they get stuck in the wall but the thing is is this though i can respect that i can understand that because the game is in early access and i'm trying to um let me see how many games the company um then released because i think they released power world and then they released this other game called craftopia but i don't know if they've released um other games like prior before that and stuff so oh they have Oh, they have released, uh, um, I, okay, so they, all together, they've released, uh, four games. They came out with a game called Over Dungeon back in 2019. Um, I don't think that game, yeah, it wasn't really, it was an indie game, so it was like, it's, you know, somewhat was famous. They came out with another one the very next year, and that, which is Craftopia, and then they came out with a game called Art, um, Imposter. Huh, I might have to, uh, check that game out and stuff. It just, you know, just over um art imposter is an ai drawing party for three. Oh, so it, it, it's like it's yeah it's one of those like guessing games i guess i i don't know but anyways um that game didn't really do so well it came out back in 2022 and then they came out with power world and that's probably their um biggest and uh baddest game that they came out with i do remember when craftopia had came out because i was looking into that game and then i think i saw the um the video and or the like the trailer for it and i'm like bro they had like this bridge they were just like um letting these cows go into this pot and i'm like bro what kind of game is oh, I, I think i think i might have talked on that game at some point in time but yeah i never did um sit down and play it i should play it one of these days just to overall see what it's about and stuff see if it's uh on that same level because i'm like my thing is is this if that company, um, uh, Pocket, Pocket, uh, what, what's the game? Um, Pocket Pair. I don't know why I was about to call it something else, but anyways, um, but no, if Pocket Pair, my thing is this, if they then came out with this game, right, I'm um, talking on Power World, imagine what the future holds now for this company. They then came out with the, probably the biggest game of the year. I, I really don't think, I think Tekken 8 is probably the only big game to come out this year. It's literally been Power World and Tekken 8 within the first month of 2024. Them the only two games that came out and it, it like made some sort of noise and stuff. But my thing is, is this, Tekken, I feel like, yeah, they're, they're set, they're good. They could come out with a 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, however many Tekken games they want to, and it's gonna be good. But talking on this company, Company, right they came out with this game imagine the dlcs that's gonna come out with the games the updates that's gonna come out with this game uh if they do decide to work on a sequel they said the thing is this they um let me uh look up the uh first let me actually mute this uh um page because i know at times they'd be liking to play audio and stuff out loud and i was like i did i was made when i think i did a video talking on this and they started playing like the trailer all out loud and stuff but anyways um so on their early access game thing so they was like why so i'm, I'm just gonna read out the whole like early access uh section of their games i mean if you guys want to sit down and read it yourself you very well can but anyways so of course the first question why early access in my personal opinion i'm like i think that is um it's good that they put the game in early access you know the game does have its bugs it has its glitches but at the same time i'm like there's games that are outside of early access and they like and they went runs a lot worse than um power world and stuff so anyways but they go on to say we believe that um to create an exciting and complete new game it is very important to keep fine tuning and um fine tuning it based on feedback from our players power world is a monster catching survival crafting game yeah we all knew that but incorporates a variety of um variety of mechanics from other genres in order to provide a complete new experience for everyone in order to collect feedback on these elements and grow the game into one that everyone can enjoy we believe that feedback from everyone in the community is necessary therefore we have decided to release power world in early access please lend us um your support so that we can make power world the best it can be oh you best believe you getting support bruh you best believe it i have to say probably the only thing i hope they don't do to the game is add like insects to it i don't know why every game out there feel like they need to have like insects in it like spiders and other different types of bugs and stuff 
I'm like, bro, it's not needed. You got these dope looking animals in the game right now. That's really all that you guys need. Y'all don't need no insects and things. Did they just show insects in the trailer? Hold on for a second, because hey, I'm like looking at the trailer and it like looked like it was something that was small looking that was running towards the uh, the main character and things. Please don't have no insects in this game. It's like I, I've had nothing but love and respect for Power World. It's like, please, please don't do this. Oh, no, this, it wasn't insects. It was something else. But yeah, it's like there's no reason to have insects in every game. I just hope that they don't do that because I'm like, that's, that's just... There's too many games out there that got insects in it. I'm like, we don't need. There's this other game that's um supposedly like a uh, like another version of Power World that just recently came out. Was gonna get the game. They got these insect like creatures, and I'm like, fam, there's no reason to have insect like creatures in every game. People, stop doing that crap. But anyways, then there was like approximately how long were the game being early access? Um, there's like, so they were, um, so the first part of it says for at least, uh, one year and stuff. So yeah, probably, um, at some point in time, I could see them actually doing that, like a one year anniversary and then the game releases out of, uh, early access. They might even release it sooner. I feel like, you know, um, they probably are working on this game day and night, making sure everything is, uh, good and solid and things. So yeah, I'm like, I imagine that, uh, they, they're probably not going to keep it in there for a long period of time. Like how I've seen some games where it's been in early access ever since I got into PC gaming and then. And, um, then they go on this. Uh, so the next question uh, is, how is the full version planned to differ from the early access version? So they go on to say, we plan to incorporate uh, various additional elements, focus on adding new content and balance um, adjustments where needed. The addition of new monsters to further the PAL roster, new areas and dungeons to make exploration even more enjoyable, and the addition of new buildings... Uh, and items that make the survival elements more um, pronounced and enjoyable, making the unique Power World experience even more uh, appealing. We are considering uh, content to target. We also uh, consider incorporating an entirely new game system based on players' feedback and ideas and stuff. So yeah, I definitely could see where they do add some, because that was one thing that I said I would like is a horde um, mode, where they just got a bunch of different pals um, from like all levels going at you and attacking you, and then yeah, you just get material from them and stuff, and then yeah, you can use it for, uh, they should, that should be like kind of like a dungeon um, like mode or something, you know, where it's like, oh, okay, do you want to just go in here and get a pal, or do you want to go through a, um, a horde of pals, and then you just leave up out of here, well, whatever and stuff i think that would be sick i would like something like that and so then they talk on the current state of the early access uh version that was one of the other questions they did say that the um price uh may increase or closer to an fit um so there's like the price of the game may increase or at a or at or closer to the official release what's uh, my brain, it's it's not registering that. So, anyways, we just go move on. So, um, and then there's like um, they uh, last question in the early access section is how are you planning on involving the community in your development process? It seems like that they've already involved us a lot. I mean, it don't seem they don't seem like a company where it's like they're not involving people within this game. Cause that then it cause my thing my thing is this: if they were to do that, they come out with this game and they don't involve the community, it's just gonna be another day before situation. So I, I'm I'm glad that you know. Uh, you know, people like Pal World, uh, um, Pocket, Pocket, uh, Pear, Pocket Pear. I don't know why. I was about to say Pocket Eater, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, man. I, I just, I am not good with names. But anyways, um, what is a Pocket Eater? I don't know. But anyways, um, I like the game. And there is a no reason for Pokemon to shut this game down. There's no reason for people to hate on this game. There is no reason for this game to get any negative energy whatsoever. If you do not like this game, do not play it. Do not watch no videos about it. Don't go into people's streams trying to tell them about the game. Don't go in people's videos trying to tell them about the game. Let the game be. Mind your business. Go on about your life. That's all that needs to be said. All right. So anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode and peace.